Hello perfume lovers, I am back after a week or so since I have lost my sense of smell due to COVID and my sense of taste which was awful uh, but after a few days without uh, feeling anything I've kind of um, regained the smell and uh, I hope now my smell is back. I was comparing it uh, with different substances around the house and with different fragrances that I have smelled before the COVID. And I think my, my sense of smell is back. I think I'm getting all the notes, so I think I am okay. Today I'm going to talk to you about uh, my first purchase uh, this year on Black Friday. It was a pre-order of a Romanian fragrance. I'll t talk um, about it. And um, because it was a pre-order, I received it after three or almost four weeks after getting it. And I couldn't smell it because I received it exactly in the, uh, at the time where I didn't have any sense of smell. I couldn't smell actually alcohol, uh, bug spray, um, acetone, nothing. Mm, it was awful. So, going back to the fragrance, I'm talking about my geisha cannabis as you know i have a, a recent obsession with cannabis notes in fragrances and i've tried to buy as many of cannabis fragrances i could find here on the market um this one i really really love it actually smells of cannabis but first my geisha is a romanian brand uh and i was a bit prejudiced about it because um the owner are two girls girls that used to sing in a um, band i knew the girls they were sort of uh, local uh, stars uh, music stars and they opened this shop my geisha it's um they, they have very good marketing they actually have around 25 uh, shops in romania and uh, this weekend uh, they'll open or this week a shop in vienna um it kind of grew here in just one or two years um the problem with this shop is that uh, they sell uh, mostly arabian fragrances uh turkish fragrances but it's called my geisha they have nothing to do with the geisha with the japanese style maybe they have cosmetics from i don't know they have also cosmetics um and all sort of uh, beauty products. Uh, I'm only concentrated on um, fragrances and um, uh, perfumes and uh, perfumed oils. I also got three small vials of perfume oils. I'll talk uh, about them in a future video. What I didn't like about my geisha uh, was the fact that um, when buying they do not uh, they didn't give me any incentives but uh, on the other hand they have um, very nice promotions when it comes to opening a new shop uh, they offer uh, discounts uh, free vials of uh, perfumed oil this one is quite expensive it's about ten dollars or eight nine euros on the market so they give this free when they open a new shop uh, but uh, when upon delivery they do not give you freebies which disappoints me always uh so moving on cannabis um it has listed that notes um green notes on top middle notes woody notes coffee tobacco and base notes agarwood and incense let's open it let's try it on as far as i remember it's a green fragrance um that smells like fresh cannabis not like uh, i don't know marijuana cigarettes smells like green uh and the bottles are quite uh, quite nice it's strange because oh. the box looks nice it's called my geisha and it has a mask or something on it so this is the bottle the bottle is kitschy nice if i might say let's put it here yes i can feel the smell it opens up a bit manly 
uh, with the green notes. You can feel the green notes. I actually think in the green notes they eat some some patchouli. It smells a bit like a um, fragrance for men, but it's a sweet green cannabis. Uh, it's very long lasting because I have tested before in the shop, and it's uh, it's it's quite long lasting and it's got a good sillage and it's also uh, very famous and very well. Uh, it's selling very very well here and very quickly, as I said in the beginning. Um, I waited about three or four months, uh, three or four weeks for my pre-order, so they had a lot of orders. I think it's the their most uh, sold product. I can still feel that green manly note, but it's starting to tone down. It's starting to get um, sweet. It's starting to get woody. It smells a bit like incense, but if you know that incense from uh, Orthodox churches, incense that have um, some white dust on it, not pure incense, incense with different uh, other smells, uh, uh, that's the, the sweet incense. We, maybe with nard, with, with different oils. Uh, it smells like fresh cut green uh green grass it smells like fresh leaves of cannabis or uh, it has a bit of a powder and a bit of a um, delicate smoky choking note but it's not disturbing it's nice it's quite nice i, I cannot feel the coffee but i feel the tobacco yes and the the, the agar wood gives it uh, some sweetness tones down all the other notes, all the green, and gives it a, a sweetness and a bit of a depth. Yes, it's a very nice fragrance. Um, the downside is that uh, this is a very expensive fragrance. It's about uh, 80 euros, which I don't think it's worth. Not 80 euros, maybe... 50, that would be a fair price for this fragrance. It has a hundred millimeters. It's a big one, but um, oh, here it says on the bottle that it's made in the UAE, United Arab Emirates. So, as I said, the contradiction be between the brand My Geisha and an Arabic perfume, Arabian perfume. So, um, they are not that very good on marketing when it comes to uh, balancing the brand with what they sell. It kind of uh, reminds me of uh, Arabic fragrances. It has that sweetness of Arabic fragrances and also that persistence, that sillage. Uh, meaning that, I don't know. I couldn't find... Uh, I, I found uh, the note. Uh, oh, it has here on the back... I'll have to compare the ingredients to the European ingredients to see if uh, there's a difference between them. Because one of the, uh, the great things about uh, Arabian fragrances is that they are very, very long lasting and have great sillage. Uh, but that might be because uh, there are some components that uh, the European Union, the FDA, have um, banned for being used in the production and in the fragrances sold on these markets. So I'll have to compare. Uh, although if it's sold uh, here, this fragrance, I think it has all the accepted uh, ingredients. I don't think there's a problem with that. But still, um, as performance, it's a very good fragrance. Um, as a branding and overall design, it's nice. It's quite nice, actually. I think it's the only bottle in this shape and color and so that, that I have. So this is a good addition to my collection. Um, as price, as I said, it's a bit expensive. I don't think it's worth the money, the entire sum of money. It should be cheaper, but it's famous here, quite well sold. So they must know something if they keep this price, this high price.
uh, uh, one thing about it, it's linear. It doesn't change its smell from top to end. Only a bit the green notes fade and it comes a bit, a bit more powdery sweet. But um, it's kind of the same. I, I wouldn't say uh, for an untrained nose, uh, you wouldn't perceive it, uh, the, the difference between when spraying it and after uh, some time passes. It's 90% uh, linear, let's say. It's an interesting fragrance. I'll have to compare uh, compare to other um, cannabis fragrances. This one is very interesting. I'll have to try the one from Fragrance du Bois and the one from uh, Bois 1920 to see if they are uh, the same. But it's uh, it's quite different. Uh, for example, from um, Replica Music Festival, which also which has also cannabis as a middle note, I think. Uh, that one is smoky. This one is fresh. This one is green, green cannabis. It smells quite nice. I'm a fan of the cannabis smell in fragrances and in cosmetics. I, f I find it very, very interesting in those combinations with different notes of wood, with different uh, notes uh, with flowers, with white flowers. I, so it's very interesting. All in all, um, my conclusion after testing my, uh, my Geisha products, actually my Geisha fragrances, is that you don't, it's not okay to, to have prejudice when it comes to fragrances. Try them on, see if they fit you, fit your personality, if you like them, and if you like them, buy it. It's no problem. Um, as long as you feel okay with one fragrance, there's no problem. Test, test everything, either if it's cheap, either if it's expensive, either if you heard of it or if you didn't hear of it, test it, try it on. You might be surprised, you might find very good fragrances at cheap prices and you definitely will find, um, let's say, not that good fragrances at a very, very high price. So don't judge. Uh, exactly as we say about books don't judge a book by its cover don't judge a fragrance by the producer or by the price try it on you might be surprised this one if you are into cannabis in fragrances and cosmetics it's a de definitely uh, has to be tried on i think they uh, have also international delivery on the website i didn't check um but uh, in all the major cities in romania you can find their shop i have to i have to say something before we end this video uh this is not a sponsored video this is not a paid video this one is my i bought it with my own money um so no, uh, this is only my opinion about the brand, about the fragrance. Thank you guys for watching me today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and my description and the review. If you want to read about it, you can follow my blog on www.princessana.me. You can find me on Instagram on princessana.me or on Facebook, my page princessana.me. Uh, see you next time with other interesting products.